Thank you for joining us today. We are Abundant Grace Church, and I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the pastor. For prayer or information about our ministry, you may email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Today we're going to be talking about how to be productive for the kingdom of God. Our scripture today will be from the book of Psalms, number 90 and verse 12. Teach us to number our days that we may present to you a heart of wisdom. So my beloved, ask yourself this question. How am I developing an attitude of productivity for your praise and glory? There are a few ways to do that, and they are laid out in the scriptures. Firstly, you must clearly define your purpose in life, because a clearly defined purpose is like a beacon in the darkness. And this gives you a direction about which way, or let's say which path you are to take in life. But my beloved, a purpose statement also gives you the motivation to want to be productive, to achieve your purpose in this life. But if you don't know what you are doing or what your purpose is in life, then why should you get up early in the morning or work hard or manage your finance as well? You must have a purpose for what you do in this life. You see, my beloved, purpose gives you the motivation to live a productive of life and it helps you with your outlook on life. Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 through 17, be careful how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of your time, because the days are evil. So then, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. You must get before God in prayer and get into his word and understand that the spirit will bear witness with your spirit as to the direction that God God wants you to go in. Secondly, be productive and spend your time effectively. You see, my beloved, productive people don't measure time in decades, years, or months. They measure time in hours and even minutes. And when you value your time, you follow biblical concepts about investing your time in the kingdom of God. Now, in Psalm 90 and verse 12, Moses wrote, teach us to number our days that we may preserve Present to you a heart of wisdom. He was talking about productivity in your life. And in James chapter 4 and verse 14, James wrote, You do not know what your life will be like tomorrow. You are just a vapor that appears for a while and then vanishes away. The Greek word for vapor in this verse means a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes away. And that's the way our lives are. We are here for a while and then we're gone. So my beloved, knowing how brief our existence is here on the earth should cause us to manage time like a valuable commodity and make the most of our time. Time is so very important. I have preached many messages concerning time and it never fails to touch my heart. And on many occasions, I have had to set different things aside in order to make the most of my time for the praise and glory of God. And you can do the same thing. You can start today. It is never too late. As long as you can breathe, as long as you can get up in the morning, you can make full use of time. So my beloved, tonight before you go to bed, make a short list of your top five priorities in this life and call it your to-do list for tomorrow. Start with number one until you have finished it. And then numbers two three, four, and then five. And you will see and you will understand and realize that that is what it means to make good use of your time. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the message today. It is a message that we all need to hear. Help us to develop an attitude of productivity for your praise and glory. Convict us when we are going down the wrong path. Give us the strength, the stamina, the energy, and the wisdom that will work for your praise and glory. And we thank you, Father God, for your blessings today. Day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening today and have a blessed week.